hey guys welcome back in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to use the push notification in react native so for that we are going to use the uh, google firebase so let's get started with that so first of all uh, i'm going to remove this for a time okay so search in google fcm react native so fcm react native uh, this is the uh, in react native component for firebase which will help you to connect the firebase push notification with the your react notification and here first of all we need to install this command so actually i am already installed everything but i am going to install it uh, okay once again to do the tutorial step by step so just use this command npm install react native and we are have we have to use some several commands and they'll take take some moment to install and within this time we will talk the another thing like that uh, yes after that we have to use some uh, we have to do some changes in the core files uh, because they are really important uh, even we are going to use the react native link but sometime it it's glitch to us and uh, uh, not doing the proper changes so use the react native link it will do almost all the changes but sometimes it, it's glitch and this is mentioned in this component also as, as a react native link sometimes has glitches make sure that you have the address the uh, uh, blue lines so first of all I'm going to check this line uh, with the Android build.gradle file so first of all I'm going to my core folder which is Android and go in the next file here this is a build.gradle file I'm going to click on this file and this is already opened and this file is already added because uh, I already work working with this so this is already installed here okay let's see the next change we have to go in the app level gradle file and here i have to use the apply plugin and this service so let's go here go to the app and now go in build.gradle and here i already add this service apply plugin and add the google gsm service that's fine uh, let's go to the another changes which is which is which is which is uh, mentioned in the android manifest.xml so here you can find this file just go in the source folder and main and then just click on it and we have to do this these changes uh, just below to the app theme and I already done these changes here that's fine so after that we have to go once more time in the app and build okay so I'm going to app and build out data file is here I have to add just two things which is which one is FCM and the version of Firebase so this is my react native FCM and here I just add this firebase with the version 10.0.1 now we have to go in the android.react-setting.gradle these changes are already done with the react native definitely so you can see that that's fine now we don't need to do these kind of changes and after that we have to change in the main application to java so i am going to click on source folder then java and main activity java 
okay uh, now here we have to add this content and add a override function so you can see that I'm already added this content dot intent and this function that's fine and last at the last we have to to change in main application to Java file here we have to add the FIR messaging package and the object of this uh, this package that's fine now everything is done according to Android and now I have to do some you don't need to do this kind of changes this is useless for now this is uh, uh, not even useless of every time but useless for now okay so now we have to import this code which is the mentioned and use this function and copy the component will mount from here I actually already uh, did, did these changes you can see that I already uh, import FCM FCM functions and then use the component will mount and these kind of functions okay I am we are going to copy and paste from here because this is a very simple tutorial we don't need to do any kind of complex modification here so that's fine everything everything is good but now one of the major thing which is pending for now which is uh, 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 we have to use the firebase console let's go here So click on the add project here. So here put the name of your project like push underscore try okay underscore is not valid here. So notification notification that's fine. And you can choose change the can choose the country from here. My country is India. Fine now create click on the create project it will take just some some moments and now we have to fill uh, the application id and it will show the ssh key here and we can ignore the ssh key here let's see hurry up baby okay so now you have to choose the uh, add file with to your android project fine so you put your application name so what is your Android package name? Go here and it will tell you that you have to go on the app level build.gradle and here is the application.id. Fine. So go to the application and now go to the build.gradle and here find try to find application id. My application id is try push. This is my project name. And you do you do not need uh, need to put your app name and debugging sign certification just these are the optional just click on the register app do, 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 do. now you have to download this file okay I'm going to my download folder and yes download this file do, 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 do. that's fine so here is our file I'm going to cut from here and okay put in my project my project name is try push go here go to the Android and then click on the app and just simply paste here this is a old one google.json file we can replace it because this is the my old project that's fine now everything is fine just click on the continue and he'll tell you this doing some changes but we don't know don't need to do these changes because we are already done these changes let's finish this fine now just go to your command line and run application uh, run a command which is react native run android uh, this command will rebuild your application 
with the core files because we did some changes with the core files and uh, to access these changes we must have to create a new build and this is going on so let's wait for some moments and it will give you the new build da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. 98 okay so okay that's fine it's almost done actually okay just run here npm start here and let's see is 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 everything is working fine Mm -mm, mm -mm. everything is working fine for now now just come back to okay just minimize this application and see some magic magical things with the intention so okay notification and Actually, I'm fine. I'll try to find where is a case project details. I'm going, to, I'm trying to find here uh, my notifications. Okay, fine. Here is my notification, so I'm going to click on with the get start. Mm -mm. Okay, send your first message. Let's see. Uh, there is no notification there is a two uh, messages in the bar which is USB debugging and USB for changes so let's ignore them and try this is test messages no nickname okay and now just select your application this is uh, com dot try push fine click on the send messages click on the send and let's see uh uh this is not here is something wrong with that Mm -mm. no actually let me check yeah guys actually everything is fine here but mm -mm, this is scheduled actually so I have to delete this message uh, actually there is some issue with the I think firebase or my project because uh, I'm la tried even last time the message was come just after 10 to 15 minutes 15 minutes but this is uh, not in my code issue or anything else this is this is the bug of react native or even uh, push notification but don't worry this is the old procedure is fine and uh, guaranteed verified because I uh, even tried this message with the last time with the same concept and it will done and the message was just come with uh, with some time so don't worry about that and thanks for watching this tutorial and the way which is uh, which we are doing with the this is actually correct this is not wrong way so don't worry and don't bother about that Thanks guys, thanks for watching this video and you can follow these procedures and let me know if you have any kind of issue with this procedure. I will definitely help you and I will try to make another video to show you messages but I don't know why this is not working. Uh, I think 
sometime the google sending the late push notification and this is happened me with the many times ago thanks guys thanks for watching this video